Are you impressed by Mukesh Ambani's luxury mansion, which stands 27 stories high? Then wait till you see some of the other lavish residences of some of India's richest people. There has definitely been no expense spent when it comes to these abodes, which include everything from infinity pools to house boxing gyms and garages stocked with high-end automobiles. Hey everyone, this is Troy here from Jess's Top 10 Reviews. Today, we are going to take a look inside the five most expensive houses in India. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 5. Ratan Tata's Retirement Home Cabins Current Worth More Than $20 Million Ratan Tata is well known for his leadership abilities and growth vision, as well as his simplicity and humility. Tata was born into a wealthy family and has been a great business leader, yet he has never lost sight of his simple life credo. The first thing that springs to mind is his retirement home in Mumbai's Kolaba neighborhood, dubbed Cabins. This sea-facing cottage is simple and white with no frills. The three-story property, which is located directly across from the Kolaba post office, is divided into seven levels and features an infinity pool at the top. The levels are completely encased in glass windows from floor to ceiling. On a vast 13,350 square foot site, the lovely home is erected 13.5 meters above ground. The gorgeous residence was created with the icon's preferences in mind. Because he is renowned for being an avid reader and swimmer, there is also a study on the bottom floor with space for a large library. Cabin's gyms are a major draw as well. The bungalow also contains a media room and master bedroom on the second floor, as well as an open-to-the-sky balcony and a lounge beside the pool on the third floor. The ground floor has a living room, a kitchen, a study, and a bedroom, all of which are elevated a few feet above the ground. Despite its basic exterior, Cabins is unquestionably one of India's most expensive homes. Number 4. Manat Current worth approximately $26.8 million Shah Rukh Khan and Gauri moved into Manat in Mumbai in 2001 when it was an empty shell that Gauri carefully and thoughtfully pieced together to make a comfortable, warm, family-friendly haven for the family. Certain upgrades and redesigns were carried out in order to accommodate the family's expanding demands. In fact, Gauri and architect designer Kaif Fakui worked on the estate for nearly a decade before it was completed. She has gradually added things to her home, from premium exhibitions to hand-picked pieces from a variety of businesses, over the course of her life. Manat is a grade 3 heritage structure built in the 1920s that has a white neoclassical front with an all-white trim and a six-story extension on the ground floor. Among the many features of the property are various rooms, a terrace, garden, elevators, and expansive recreational areas. Shah Rukh Khan's personal office is also housed in the building. A fusion of styles can be found in the interiors, with Italian, neoclassical, and Indian influences sprinkled throughout. In general, the atmosphere is eclectic, individualistic, and maximalist in nature. A prominent position is taken by accents picked by her from boutiques in Dubai, London, design events such as Maison and Objet in Paris, and Salon del Mobile in Milan, among others. Number 3. The Jindal Mansion. Current worth, approximately $53 to $67 million. Sajan Jindal is one of India's richest businessmen. In addition, he is the chairman and managing director of the JSW group of companies. He has many homes in Mumbai and Delhi, but the Jindal House, which he purchased for an estimated rupees 200 crores, or approximately $26.85 million, is his most expensive real estate transaction. And, as we can see by its current worth, the price of the house has since doubled. The Jindal Mansion is not just the steel magnates and his family's home, but also the headquarters of the JSW Group. The three-story white home, which embraces regal and classic European architecture, emanates grandeur and vintage grace from every corner while keeping an urban, minimal, and sophisticated decor on the inside. While no one has access to the mansion's inner sanctums, the headquarters office area gives us ample fuel for imagination about how it might be. The office interiors of the Jindal Mansion are improved through a strict application of symmetry in design, with heavy use of white, wood, and earthy tones of dark brown and olive green. The color palette and design pattern speak a thousand words about the essence of inclusivity, humility, discipline, and diligence. 
The most intriguing part of the interiors, though, is the way gold has been employed throughout. The golden tone, which represents richness and prosperity, has been employed not only in light wood walls, tables, and wooden panels, but also in warm concealed lighting. When the warm lights are reflected on the surface, they envelop the interiors in a beautiful golden glow. This feature has been reinforced with stunning gold art installations in various locations across the business. There is a fitness room and other luxury amenities in this opulent estate. Number 2. J.K. House Current worth, approximately $81 million. Gautam Singhania's family residence is located on the same road as Antilia, dubbed as Billionaire's Row, and according to Architectural Digest, it is the second highest building in Mumbai after Antilia. The Raymond Group, one of the world's largest suppliers of suit fabric and textiles, is owned by the Singhania family. The company's long history is echoed in a museum in the residence. According to the New York Post, the museum is loaded with fabric industry relics, such as scraps of fabric, photos from when the family first started, and certificates and equipment used. According to Business Insider, the museum also houses a vast collection of jade. At street level, the home is said to have a shop and clothing showroom. JK House appears to be divided into flats, with multiple family members residing there. The building contains two swimming pools, a gym, a spa, and a helipad. Each residential unit appears to have its own terrace and garden. Number 1. Mukesh Ambani's Antilia. Current worth, more than $2 billion. The 400,000-square-foot structure is located on Altamount Road in South Mumbai, India. Antilia was conceived by Chicago architects Perkins and Will and built by Australian business Leighton Holdings. The building has 27 floors and extra high ceilings. This building's floors are all the same height. Antilia can withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8. Antilia's architecture is based on the lotus and the sun. The building's upper six stories are reserved for full-floor individual residences. In this opulent building, you can find a private cinema theater for 50 people, a salon, and an ice cream shop. Mukesh Ambani loves speed. Antilia has six floors dedicated to vehicles, including his rupees 5 crore Maybach. The garage can actually hold 168 automobiles. The seventh story of the skyscraper in South Mumbai is an auto service facility. Antilia also features nine high-speed elevators, each assigned to a separate floor. It's hard to adjust to the Mumbai summer, but there's a snow room for Mukesh Ambani and his family. The mansion's walls spewed out fake snowfall. Which is the most expensive house in your city or town? Let us know in the comment section down below. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.